Uh, these are long answer choices. I don't love it. I don't love it. Uh, but let's zoom in here and see what we can get. To address the susceptibility of materials used in components of high-performance machinery, such as aircraft engines, to creep deformation that is induced by persistent mechanical stress and that often occurs at elevated temperatures, so ooh, high temperature, uh, and deformed, right? Uh, materials researchers have developed silicon carbide fibers for producing aerospace composites, testing the thermomechanical properties of several commercially available SIC fibers. These people found that in comparison with two polymer-derived SIC fibers, a nitrogen-treated SIC fiber exhibited a lower minimum creep rate, a measure of the rate at which a stress-exposed material deforms at a constant temperature and uniaxial load. The findings suggest that. Oh, this is so dense. I love it. I love this. This could be complete nonsense. This could be all made up words. I, I, I would have no idea, right? It's just a lot of technical jargon. It reminds me of this YouTube video about uh, about this kind of j techno jargon. Um, but yeah, I love this. I, I honestly, though, the, the part I understand is the part that matters, right? So well, they did a comparison here. Uh, and uh, uh, da, 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 they found that the two polymer, so 2P, um, uh, da, 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 a nitrogen treated one, so nitrogen one. Uh, okay, so a nitrogen treated SIC fiber exhibited a lower minimum creep rate. So that would mean, uh, right, less creep if I do it like that. But that also means that this one's better, right? Creep is bad, right? So creep is bad. So we're, we're saying, I don't know what this comparison is going to do, but it, either if it talks about the creep rate, right, like the nitrogen one has less creep, uh, sounds so weird to say, uh, but that also makes it better, right? Because the, the creep is a bad thing. So I don't know. Let's see what the, the passage or the choices give us. This finding suggests that unlike, oh boy, I already can tell this is going to be all twisted. Unlike the two polymer derived SIC fibers, the nitrogen treated SIC fiber can substantially, ooh, substantially inhibit creep, provided that temperatures and loads are consistent. Uh, it said it's better, but substantially inhibit. I, I That's a quantifier. I, I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm being too picky, but let's look at B. The polymer, uh, two, the two polymer-derived SIC fibers likely hold similar potential for reducing the creep resistance of materials exposed to stress and elevated temperatures, thus prolonging the lifespan of aerospace machinery. What? <laughs> so the two polymer fibers hold similar potential. Similar to what? Um, right? Doesn't it need to be similar to the, the nitrogen one? What? What is going on here? Um, it's not similar. I, I, I think, isn't that just wrong, right? That the whole point is it's not similar. So I don't know. Maybe I'm misreading this one. C, composites based on the two polymer derived SIC fibers have chemical properties that may improve the mechanical and thermal stability of aerospace equipment to a greater extent than do composites based on the nitrogen treated SIC. No, this is saying the two polymer is better. No, 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 no. The two polymer is worse. Two polymer is worse. This is wrong. D, aerospace composites containing the nitrogen-treated SAC fiber may have the ability to withstand mechanical stress for a longer period of time than can aerospace composites containing either of the two polymer-derived SIC fibers. Yeah, this is saying the nitrogen one is better. Done. This is easy. Like, I love, again, I love the way this is written. This is just going to go over so many people's heads. But it's so clear what they're saying. It is so clear because none of the stuff about uniaxial loads or persistent mechanical stress, none of that matters. The aerospace composites, it's just, they say, they compare two things, they tell us which one is better, write that down, and then go to the choices and just see, are they saying that one is better? Are they saying that the right one is better? That's all you got to do. This whole thing comes down to the simple idea of like, one thing is better than something else, a, a simple comparison. So don't let the weird language bother you. They're putting it in there to bother you. But the real stuff that matters is all very understandable in here, um, right? The sentence is a little hard to undo, but in comparison, right, something had a lower rate, right? That's it. That's it. That's the only part of this that matters. And yes, you got to go back and be like, is creep good or bad? But deformation, right? Like that, that sounds bad, right? So that's it. That's the whole thing. This is such a great question because it is one that looks very intimidating. And if you try to, and if you reread again and again and again to understand all these words, and then you, 
you will waste time. But also, if you even if you do understand it better, unless you pull out that comparison, it's not going to matter. The only thing that matters is that comparison. Everything else is garbage. Just look at the comparison, look for it in the choices, easy solve.